Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Nowadays I am not giving time for screenshot because when I take entry and exit, you will have time, you can take screenshot. So today we are going to start one important topic that is risk and return. Very important topic. We have learned that whenever you put your investments, you get a return but risk is also involved. Without risk, without taking time, you won't get the return. For every return, you have to invest your amount for some period, long period, maybe short period. Then you are going to get the return. But risk is also involved. Both are interrelated. Very rarely you may not find the risk, but still somewhere the risk is written. I'll explain you very clearly. For example, uh, what are the names I can take? Ramu and Somu, let's take. Ramu. Ramu has taken uh, 1 lakh rupee. 1 lakh rupee from Somu. Ramu has taken 1 lakh rupee from Somu. Okay. So now here, uh, this is the period of 1 year. It's an agreement between both of them. Ramu has taken 1 lakh rupee from Somo for 1 year and after 1 year he is going to return 1 lakh 10,000 rupees 1.10 this is the amount he is going to return now here when Ramu has taken 1 lakh rupee after 1 year he is going to pay back 1 lakh 10,000 for waiting for 1 year Somo has given 1 lakh rupee but he waited for 1 year that's the period of time he waited. For that purpose, he is getting another extra amount that is 10,000 10, rupees. 1 lakh 10,000 he is going to return. Return he is going to bet after some period. Now let's take the same conversation, same story in different way. Suppose say, Somu is saying that after giving the payment of 1 lakh rupee, after 10 days he is demanding that I want to get back my 1 lakh rupee. I need, I have some emergency. You have to return back. Whenever Ramu has to return back this 1 lakh rupee, is he going to pay with 10,000 rupee? Obviously no. Because he did not wait for 1 year. And there is another thing is also there. He may not return the 1 lakh rupee also as it is to Somu because he might have used it. He might have kept that 1 lakh rupee in some business, somewhere areas. So it is not possible. So there is a risk. For both the parties. If he is asking immediately pay back, he may not give. If he has to pay 1 lakh rupees somewhere, he has to borrow once again money and pay back to him. So, there is a waiting period of 1 year and then he is going to get the return. So, this is one case. Uh, return, you get it easily without any risk. When we learned in the last class. Like if you keep your amounts in the fixed deposits in any nationalized bank or post office, return is sure and without any risk. But I would like to say here also there is a risk. How? Let me explain. When I invest in any organization or any bank, I may be getting back around 6% only. They are going to pay the interest of 6%. Okay, I am waiting for one year, 6% I am getting the interest. But after one year, you should compare with the inflation also. The constant increase of the prices. If the increase of prices, inflation is 8%. Inflation is 8%. Whereas my interest is 6% only. So, that is the difference of 2%. 2% is risk. Loss, it's a risk. Because I am putting my investment in such an organization where they are paying very less interest but inflation is crossing that interest. So, so here also there is a risk. Risk is everywhere you will find. Suppose so you are traveling on a road. You are traveling on a road. If you cross the speed limit then definitely there is a risk. Isn't it? You are writing an exam. You are writing an exam. You are not prepared. Or you are leaving half of the question paper answers easily. Then there is a risk of failure. Not prepared. So risk is everywhere. But only the thing is how do we handle it? Risk and uncertainty. Both are interrelated. Both look like same. 
but there is a difference risk uncertainty what is the difference that we will see now right now just understand what is risk and uncertainty in just one or two sentences now here every investment will have some associated risk every investment is having some risk and risk is associated with uncertainty investment is associated with the risk now risk is associ associated with the uncertainty of negative event happening there is a possibility of something is going to happen that is uncertain as uncertainty is definitely different from the risk i am taking risk for my business uncertainty may or may not happened unexpectedly something is going to happen that is uncertainty it cannot be expected whereas risk possibility is there i am putting my investments in so and so organization there is a risk uh, there may not be risk i know that but uncertainty i won't be knowing anything anyhow what are the differences between risk and uncertainty through a table we'll understand only five points you have to understand what are the basis of points basis of differences first one is meaning what is the meaning of risk risk it is a measurable uncertainty uncertainty risk can be measured that uncertainty measurable uncertainty but uncertainty it is an immeasurable risk we cannot measure it immeasurable the risk what we are going to get that is immeasure immeasurable that is we call it as uncertainty there it is measurable risk is there i know it so what i am going to do so that i have some idea but he have no idea at all risk cannot be and uh, estimated that is why we say it is immeasurable that's the meaning of risk and uncertainty next prediction can we predict the risk see possibility of future outcome of an action or decision can be predicted possibility of future outcome of action or decision it can be predictable yes we can predict it possibility is there risk but here uncertainty we cannot predict it possibility of future outcome of an action or decision cannot be predict we cannot predict that is why we say it as uncertainty and third one measurement how do we measure this risk can be measured and quantified risk we can measure it and also we can quantify it for example i am keeping my investments of 1 crore rupee in one organization i know that there is a risk and i have somewhat idea i may get a risk of around 20 lakh or 30 lakh something okay i can take the risk quantity is also measurable risk is also have an idea but the measurement of uncertainty uncertainty cannot be measured and quantified it cannot be not possible okay cannot be measured and un quantified you can't quantify also 20 lakh i'm going to get risk or 30 lakh i may lose it there is a possibility this we cannot do it and uh, fourth point is management risk can be managed how risk can be managed because risk is predictable i know there is a risk means with knowing the risk i am investing means it is manageable i have some idea how do I, how do i manage it with that intention i am keeping my investment at my risk so this is manageable whereas here uncertainty it cannot be manageable uncertainty is not manageable uncontrollable not possible because uncertainty i didn't expect i got a loss how do i manage it so that is why this manageable is not possible and also it is uncertainty uncontrollable <laughs> last point insurable so can we go for insurance of this risk risk cannot be insured by knowing everything i am keeping my investment who will do the insurance who will give the insurance for this no possibility is not there uncertainty uncertainty can be insured possibility of insurance uncertainty i am keeping my uh, go down and uh, some business and everything under insurance if anything happened like we learned in consignment destroyed stock destroyed due to fire accident or theft leakage anything insurance is there 
so need not to worry that is uncertainty but here in risk no insurance okay these are the five points will give you a clarity of what is risk what is uncertainty now when do you find the risk the causes of risk few causes total 10 causes one by one we can discuss it when do you say risk whenever you find incorrect decision taken with regard to investment incorrect decision no idea my decision is wrong related to the investment i am not supposed to put my investments in so and so organization i don't have idea but i have put then it's a risk this is one cause of risk so have an idea have clarity then you can go for investment if you don't have idea what to do get the clarification get the information get the knowledge from others then you can go otherwise it will be causing to risk and also wrong time investment i kept my investment but it's on wrong time for example uh, securities securities in any stock exchange of one company it's increasing increasing at that time i just purchased after increasing that's wrong time when it is increasing starting period if you purchase it that will be beneficial for you at high price you have purchased some day it will come down some day it will come down it means it's a risk you won't be getting back your returns properly so timing is important wrong time if you put your investments that's a wrong investment that causes a risk and also selection of high risk securities high risk securities i know that there is a risk but still i am purchasing it definitely there is a risk so safely you have to go if you are ready to bear the risk take the high risk and purchase it this causes to risk another one period of security period of security means generally you will have a short period and long period right you remembered it short and long period where will be the risk the more longer period if you invest you will have more risk whereas short period investment that risk is also less so here you can say there is a risk period of security how much period yeah, i am keeping my investment for 5 years 10 years anything may happen future only 6 months i am keeping my investment 6 months possibility is there to get back your money with whatever expected returns okay and uh, another one amount of investment how much amount you are keeping your investment large amount risk is more less amount means you are taking risk less very important point to be remembered investment how you are keeping your investment how much you are keeping it uh, rather than that here i would like to give one advice suppose say i am keeping my investments in mutual funds i have 1 crore rupee 1 crore i am keeping in one investment only that is risky what do you do rather than that segregate the investment in different mutual funds don't put all your eggs in one basket did you remember it in the same way don't keep your investments in only in one investment one way go for different ways 20 lakh i kept in mutual funds 20 lakh i kept in securities 20 lakh purchased debentures like and to uh, 40 lakh i kept it in bank deposits or post office somewhere like this when you segregate risk will come down that is about the period of security and also amount of this is we, we discuss amount of investment how much you are keeping investment investment always high high investment means as i told you high risk and next one demand and supply forces this is you know right from the economics demand and supply whenever there is a lots of demand supply is less definitely there is a risk and supply is more supply in the sense lots of investment is available but demand is not there demand in the sense not utilizing it not utilizing there is a surplus amount is there then that is a risk you have to do something else to manage the surplus of amount okay and also nature of industry and business what kind of business you are choosing what is the industry what is the nature of the business that is important evergreen business no problem at all risk will be less new industry no idea possibility of risk is there you have idea somewhat about the risk still you are forwarding you are going ahead then there will be chance of risk 
and also political and legal factors political and legal factors like uh, rates of taxes it's increasing decreases on particular areas and also unfavorable economic policies economic policies also changing somewhat uh, uh, restrictions they are keeping it that and legal impositions so any of such kind of things we say it as a uh, going to make the difference on the risk that's political and legal factors next national international factors national international this is related to the exports and imports one nation to another nation important whether you are importing or exporting you have to follow the rules and regulations of both the countries what our country is saying and what about the rules and regulations of other country both are going to make the difference if this country is okay i am in country a i am doing business with country b import and export this business i am doing my country is okay formalities and everything is okay but b that's other country they are making any kind of changes restrictions rules and regulations something they are obstructing then automatically that makes difference to my business so that is why i have to be very careful about the national and international factors what is happening and in the some will natural calamities also <clears throat> sometimes boom will be there prices are increasing a lot demand is lot sometimes down totally then in such cases also risk is interrelated if you see the uh, securities and related stock market stock market uh, daily when you see it's increasing decreasing people are worrying about it because there is because of their investment so this possibility is also there like these are the factors or uh, these are the causes of risk when do you have the risk am i clear in the next class we'll discuss about types of investors and also after that we'll have the practicals very important this practicals are related to the uh, statistics did you remember statistics like mean standard deviation co coefficient of correlation few concepts we are interlinking with this risk and return chapter stay connected don't forget to share this videos and check out the playlist good luck